Now when first round table conference failed, finally at Lahore session, Congress Lahore session, which was held in the month of December 1929, and at that time Jawaharlal Nehru was the president of Congress. So in this session, when he was addressing, he asked the people, "Can now?" Our target, our goal is Purn Swaraj. Now we are not going to be satisfied with half or 25% Swaraj. Now we want complete Swaraj, nothing less than that. And along with this, he declared that we will be celebrating. 26th January as Independence Day of our country, but unfortunately, he did not get the support of sufficient members and the public, so it was not a successful. Finally, Gandhi ji decided that we need to take an issue which can. Attract maximum Indians, and we can once again organize a very big mass movement. So Gandhi ji was in search, thinking of how it can be done, and the British government gave the opportunity. The government introduced salt law. That is, they impose salt tax on the Indians. So when Gandhi ji came to know about this, right? So here he, we can see the picture of salt march, Dandi march, a salt satyagraha. Gandhi ji, along with Sarojini Naidu and various other trusted volunteers, marching to Dandi from Sabarmati Ashram. Here you can see the map. This is our map of Gujarat. Here you can see Sabarmati Ashram, which comes in Ahmedabad. From here, they started walking finally to the Dandi, that is in Nausari district, a coastal area. Right? This is altogether 240 miles. Right? So we will be discussing about this very soon. So I was talking about. कि गांधी जी गोट द अपॉर्चुनिटी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सॉल्ट टैक्स। सो फाइनली व्हेन पीपल अप्रोच्ड महात्मा गांधी, गांधी जी रोट लेटर टू वाइस रॉय इरविन, राइट? इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी 1931। सो नाउ व्हाट हैपेंड? इन द लेटर ही स्पेसिफाइड he demanded 11 points he specified 11 points or we can say 11 demands the prime demand was abolition of salt tax and other problems of we can say peasants businessmen tribals these were the other points or demands now Gandhi ji was of opinion that this salt is something which has great power to attract or bring people together. So that's why he used this salt as a weapon to reunite all the people of the different community and section. We all know that salt is something which is utilized by every section of the society in the same amount. Whether we belong to the high section of the society, we belong to the poor section of the society. Whether we belong to east, west, north, south, right? Anyone, they need just a pinch of salt in their food or as per test. Salt is not something that is consumed in great quantity. And it is something that we need in our day-to-day life. 
so imposing tax on such a thing was not in the favor of the indians and side by side salt was produced without any cost by the indians so why should we purchase something that is available free of cost in the nature so finally gandhi ji as we have seen wrote later to viceroy irwin and he even gave the warning ke if by 11th march if our 11 demands are not fulfilled we will start salt satyagraha and finally viceroy irwin denied to accept or fulfill any of the demand and as per the gandhi ji's words he started the salt satyagraha so gandhi ji started salt march or salt satyagraha from his ashram in amdabad that is sabarmati ashram with his most trusted volunteers right 78 most trusted volunteers they accompanied mahatma gandhi and from sabarmati ashram finally to navagam then we have anand nadiyad borsad kanakpura then amod then dehrol mangrol bhaktam dehat surat navsari matwad and finally to dandi <coughs> so when gandhi ji was on his way to dandi thousands of people joined them thousands of people came to listen them as he moved on wherever he stopped he discussed about the aim and objective of this satyagraha the planning what they are going to do in future it is said ke the journey from sabarmati to dandi it's a distance of 240 miles and they reached on 6th april that is they took 24 days so on an average they were traveling 10 miles a day so when they reached dandi gandhi ji and the people they boiled sea water and finally they broke the salt law this marked the beginning of civil disobedience movement so as i discussed with you okay, what the salt march was so salt a powerful tool to unite the nation gandhi ji wrote later to viceroy irwin stating his 11 demands demands so these 11 demands consisted of all the section and the best among them was abolition the prime demand was abolition of salt tax salt something which is consumed alike by the rich and poor both finally gandhi ji along with his 78 volunteers as i discussed started covered 240 miles from sabarmati to dandi walked 24 days that is 10 miles a day thousands of people came to meet gandhi ji reached dandi on 6th april boiled the sea water and broke the salt law now we are going to start with the new topic so till now we have discussed how non cooperation movement began why it was called off by mahatma gandhi then finally starting of the civil disobedient movement with salt march now we are going to learn how non cooperation movement and civil disobedience movement was different from each other
this question is asked for 3 or 5 marks in the board exam. So, it is quite important to understand the difference between the two mass movement that was started by Mahatma Gandhi. So, the first difference that we have is a non cooperation movement. It was started with the aim or objective that is not to follow government rules and follow non violence. So, when non cooperation movement was started, what Gandhi ji said? We are not going to cooperate with the government. Whatever the rules and regulations are made by them or if they ask for the help, we are not going to support them. But all these acts will be carried out without any short of violence. But when we talk about civil disobedience movement, the objective was to break all the rules and regulations that was made by the government and even violence was involved in this. So, that is the first difference between the two mass movement. The second difference that we have is it was carried out through peaceful demonstrations and picketing of foreign goods and liquor shops. It means whatever the protest was done, it was done in the form of hartal, strike, demonstration, petitions without cooperating to the government and they will not do any short of violence in this one. But when we talk about CDM, civil disobedience movement, in this the Indian people, they broke all the various laws that were there at that time. For example, they broke forest law, salt law, they did not pay the taxes, chokidari tax was denied, they enter into the forest, they grazed animals, collected firewoods. This is how the various laws were broke by the Indian people or the nationalist. Further we talk about, so what was the aim? The aim behind non-cooperation movement, right, was to unite Hindu and Muslim. Because Gandhiji was very well aware, okay, if these two community is united, then only the Swaraj is possible. If these two communities are not united, it is going to be a tough job for Gandhiji to attain Swaraj. Whereas the aim of CDM that is civil disobedience movement was to attain Poorn Swaraj or we can say complete independence. In between we have learned okay, even before when first world war started the British government promised to give dominion status in future. Once the war came to an end, nothing was granted to us. Again when Simon Commission came, it failed. Again Viceroy Irwin promised for dominion status in indefinite future. But Congress did not find it attractive offer for them and that's why first round table was and at Lahore session where Congress met in 1929 Jawaharlal Nehru demanded for 
पूर्ण स्वराज के नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइट फॉर कंप्लीट इंडिपेंडेंस नथिंग लेस देन दैट सो दैट्स व्हाट इट वाज एंड इट स्टार्टेड विद 11 डिमांड्स विद गांधी जी रोट दैट इज द लेटर दैट वाज रिटन बाय महात्मा गांधी टू वाइस रॉय इरविन कि दीज आर आवर 11 डिमांड्स एंड इफ इट इज नॉट फुलफिल्ड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द सीडीएम मूवमेंट now the reason why non cooperation was called off and the reason why cdm was called off so no doubt in both the violence was there but the violence was different here the reason why ncm was called off was because of the incident that took place at chauri chaura we have learned ke when demonstration was done the satyagrahis were beaten firing was done by the police finally the satyagrahis the nationalists they burned the whole police station and in this incident 22 policemen died so when the news reached to mahatma gandhi he called off the non cooperation movement with the idea ke still the indian the people need to learn the meaning of satyagraha they are not still sure about what satyagraha is so once it is taught to them once again with perfection relaunching will be done whereas non civil disobedient movement was called off by mahatma gandhi when abdul ghafar khan was arrested finally people protested in peshawar and a month later even gandhi ji was arrested so even the children and women became the part of this protest and finally the government brutally fired and beaten the children and women and seeing this movement converting into violence mahatma gandhi called off civil disobedience movement so that was the difference between the two now we are going to learn about the reason why mahatma gandhi called off civil disobedience movement this is asked for three marks in the exam so we all as just now i said in brief ke when the protest was going on everywhere civil disobedient was observed people were breaking the laws right so during that only government began to arrest all the major leaders and this led to arrest of abdul ghafar khan also when abdul ghafar khan was arrested finally the protest began in peshawar one month later even mahatma gandhi was arrested the protest become even more bigger people came in large number in lakhs and lakhs people began to protest against this for the release of various political leaders and mahatma gandhi when government could not control finally government really reacted brutally firing was done lathi charge was done more than 1 lakh people were sent to jail and the most i would say thing which should not happen was that even the government did not leave the small children and women even they were brutally beaten by the government so when gandhi ji found ke the demonstration the peaceful satyagraha a civil disobedience was getting converted into violence that's why gandhi ji called off cdm so when gandhi ji was called off we have seen ke during this movement many buildings government buildings post office railways everything why now people were quite angry with the arrest of the 
Congress leaders and especially Mahatma Gandhi. And this is what led to the violence and finally Gandhiji called off.